vehicular homicide, the court's going to uh, adjudicate the defendant guilty, sentence him to nine years in the Florida State Prison. On count two, same charge, court will adjudicate the defendant guilty, sentence him to 15 years Florida State Prison, and that'll run consecutive to count one for a total 24 years Florida State Prison. Count three is a misdemeanor, unlawful racing on a highway. So the court will adjudicate the defendant guilty, sentence him to time served. Welcome back to the Nigerian Network. Today, we're looking at a young 21-year-old uh, Cameron Heron who crashed while speed racing on the highway of Bayshore Boulevard. And while he was illegally street racing with his Mustang, Cameron Heron, a 21-year-old, killed two lives. The lives of a 21-year-old mother and a 21-month-old toddler. Now, this is a very touchy subject. Um, I must say right off the bat, um, he, Cameron Heron, the driver of the Mustang that, you know, uh, killed these two in, uh, lives, is getting 24 years in prison for um, causing this accident. And he was 18 at the time. 18, you are a full adult. And um, he was an adult. He got charged as an adult of vehicular homicide. My reaction to this, um, <clears throat> there's, there's two sides. Well, Cameron Heron, um, he's popping off all over social media um, that, you know, I'm not going to lie. He, he is a good looking dude. He looks, you know, pretty good. And, you know, um, I guess it's that he looks good and people all over social media um, think that he is innocent. But he's not. He's not innocent. It's just that he looks good and that's what they're using as a tactic to not make him look bad. I see two sides to this. One side, it was on the highway. What, what, as a mother, what are you doing rolling your child in a stroller on the highway? You know that cars on the highway can hit you at any second, at any moment. Cars on the highway are going usually 60 to 100 miles per hour in most states. Um, but what are you doing as a mother and you're, 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 you have your baby in a stroller and you're pushing her, um, you know, on the highway. That is not the right place to do that. Nobody, <laughs> you have never seen anyone walk on the highway. Nobody gets out the car on the highway. There's only one way and that's just keep driving. Nobody stops at the highway. Cars do, but you don't usually get out and walk around on the highway. So she should have not been on the highway having her baby in a stroller and, you know, walking around on the highway. But that doesn't make Cameron Heron innocent. You as an 18 year old, when you get up, get ready, get in your five liter Mustang and decide to go and street race on the highway, you know what you're doing, all right? You chose, it's a choice that you made to go out and street race on the highway. Now, 100 miles per hour is not that fast on the highway, but it's pretty fast. Um, but, you know, it just... I know why they feel bad for the kid. It's just that, you know, he probably... They're thinking that he probably didn't know what he was doing, but he knew what he was doing. I know he did not mean to hit those two people on the highway, but for the norm, for most people, people don't know that there's people on the highway. People don't know there's people walking around on the highway because there's not. We're not used to seeing people on the highway. So that's why we go fast sometimes because there's no people around. And so he did not, Cameron Heron, the 21 year old, he was 18 at the time when this happened. He just turned into an adult. He did, he did not want to cause that crash. Trust me, he did not want to take those two innocent lives. Trust me, it was an accident. An accident happens once and 
an accident got him 24 years in prison. Um, I think that the maybe the the sentence is the sentence is fair. That's probably like 10, 10 years for each person that he killed. Um, and he got charged with the vehicle of homicide. Um, but as I said, don't go out on the highway walking around and strolling your baby around. You know there's cars out there going 150 miles an hour. But at the end of the day, I see what people on TikTok are doing. He does look good. I know he probably did not deserve it. But he caused an accident that he did not mean. And now they're putting him behind bars because that's how the law works in this country. That's how the judicial system is set up. And it says here that he was going more than 100 miles per hour in a Mustang. Um, he hit a, a mother pushing a child in a stroller. Um, there was another driver. He pleaded guilty for his role as well, and he was sentenced to six years in prison. And he was 17 when he ha when this happened, the other driver. Um, <clears throat> and even, I, I can't imagine uh, still the... The two innocent lives that were lost in this were the mother and her daughter, a toddler. I mean, getting hit at 100 miles per hour is just... I don't even know how that feels, honestly. The toddler wasn't even grown enough to know that he or she is alive and you just die right as you're born. It's just very chilling to me. Um, but... He'll be out in 2040, I think 2045. Cameron Heron, he will be out by then. And um, I think he's trying to appeal his uh, charges. But we'll see what happens when he gets out. I am pray praying for the family that was lost in this. And I'm praying that the driver um, gets what he deserves. And I know, guys, he looks good. He's a good-looking dude. But at the end of the day, the justice system, the court system, the laws in this country don't care if you if you look good, all right, at all. They don't they don't care about that, and that's it. Now, what I would say though, if Cameron Heron was a powerful person and had a lot of money, he probably would have reduced the sentence to three years, or they wouldn't even have given him jail time because of his power. But that's just that's my views on this, and um. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is a very touchy subject. Um, go look on TikTok. Every single video is about praising Cameron Heron, the driver who crashed into these two. And um, But yeah, let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll be back on the next video for you guys, okay? You guys have a good one. I've been, I've been.